Express recipe is designed to make the most even, efficient extractions that can be achieved from the French press. This recipe is optimized to bring you the most transparent appearance and the silkiest mouthfeel possible. Immersion brews like this cool at a much slower rate than pour overs because they have more thermal mass. So your brews will be more consistent if the carafe's always at room temperature. We prefer to brew with 68 grams per liter. Brew ratios between 60 and 70 grams of coffee per liter work great for French press. Recipes up to 75 grams, they can be overwhelmingly strong, but they still work nicely with milk. So long as you start with brew water at temperature about 90 degrees, you won't have any problems with under uh, extraction with French presses. For one little brews, we usually begin with a water temperature of around 94 degrees Celsius. Water just off the boil is fine for smaller brews because they cool more quickly. You need to start a bit hotter with them. Grind on a medium grind. If you're brewing one liter, you need a medium grind size, just a little bit coarser than you would use for a cupping. If you're brewing just a single cup, then you can use your grind setting in the same region as your cupping grind. Add all the water at high rate all at once. The flow rate should be vigorous enough to wet all the grinds. If you see that there are any dry clamps, then give them a rub with the cupping spoon and remember to pour a little faster next time. After pouring your water into the French press, don't agitate the grinds. Just allow the crust to form and leave the mixture to stand and disturb for five minutes. Break the crust with just eight stirs, not just across the surface. You want to stir right down into the coffee bed at the bottom too. And please don't plunge straight away. Just insert the lid and wait another three minutes to allow the suspended grinds to settle onto the surface of the coffee bed. Gently plunge the brewer after 8 minutes. You won't cause any problems if you push the plunger onto the coffee bed, but please be careful that you don't agitate the grinds when the filter reaches the top of the coffee bed. To achieve the most flavor clarity, let the brew rest for a couple of more minutes and then decant the whole brew into a separate vessel. Keep an eye on the final half cup that you're pouring. You want to stop pouring before any of the sediments reaches out the carafes. Give the decanted bread a stir to ensure all the customers experience the same flavor profile when they taste your coffee.